chapter 89 jaitrada slain the decisive on hour has come karna said duryodhana it, if before nightfall this day jaitrada is not slain arjuna will be disgraced and he will kill himself for not having redeemed his oath with arjuna's death the destruction of the pandavas is certain and the kingdom will be ours in unquestioned and absolute sovereignty Dhananjaya swore this impossible oath in a moment of thoughtlessness because the gods had willed it that he should be thus destroyed by his own hand it seems my stars are now in the ascendant we should not let this opportunity slip we must see somehow that this challenge fails his challenge fails the whole thing depends on you your great skill in battle is on trial today prove yourself today this day see the sun has sloped down in the west within the little time left before nightfall i do not think it is possible for partha to reach jaitrada you ashwatthama shalya kripa and i must god jaitrada and do all we can to see that he does not fall into arjuna's hands during the next few hours before sunset my king karna replied i have been wounded all over by bhimasena and i am so weary that my limbs have no power in them still i shall put forth all the strength that is in me i only live to serve you when karna and duryodhana were thus planning arjuna was engaged in a great attack on the kaurava army and putting forth all his strength so that before sunset he could break through to jaitrada krishna put his panchajanya in his mouth and blew a loud note in the rishabha swara which was the signal for his own charioteer daruka to arrive at once with his chariot when it came satyaki took his place in it and attacked karna vigorously and skillfully keeping him fully engaged daruka's mastery of driving and satyaki's archery were such as brought down the gods to witness the combat karna's four chariot horses were disabled and the charioteer was unseated then the flag staff was cut asunder and the chariot was smashed the great karna stood charioteless and the event produced a great flutter in the kaurava army karna had to run and climb up into duryodhana's chariot sanjaya here tells dhridrashtra to whom he was relating the incident the greatest adepts in archery are krishna partha and satyaki there is not a fourth to match them arjuna broke through the kaurava opposition and reached jaitrada inflamed by the thought of the slaughter of abhimanyu and all the great wrongs inflicted by the kauravas arjuna fought with fury savya sachin as he was he discharged shafts from the gandiva bow now using one hand and now the other he struck terror and confusion among his enemies who felt as if death had come to the battlefield with wide open jaws it's only the poet of the mahabharata that can describe the combat that raged between arjuna and aswatthama and the other great warriors that protected the king of sindhu they fought fiercely but were all defeated and could not prevent arjuna from reaching jaitrada the attack on jaitrada began and the battle raged long both sides were constantly looking westwards for the day was nearing its end the saindava was no mean foe and attacks to the full arjuna's strength and skill were hard put to it the sun sank towards the horizon and reddened but the battle did not cease there is but a very little time left it seems jaitra jaitrada has been saved and arjuna's challenge has failed the vow is unfulfilled and arjuna is going to be disgraced said duryodhana to himself in great glee then there was darkness and the cry went round in both armies it sunset and jaitrada has not been killed arjuna has lost the pandavas were depressed and there were shouts of joy in the kaurava army jaitrada turned to the western horizon horizon and t- thought within himself i am saved 
for he did not see the sun then and thought the time limit of danger from arjuna was over at that moment however krishna said to arjuna dhananjaya the sindhu raja is looking at the horizon i have caused this darkness the sun is still up and has not set do your work this is the moment for it for jayatrada is off his guard a shaft flew from the gandiva bow and like a vulture swooping down on a ch- uh, chicken carried away jayatrada's head listen arjuna cried krishna send your shafts in swift relay so that the head may be supported from falling to the earth and borne into vridhakshatra's uh, lap and arjuna sent his wonderful arrows that carried away the head in the air it was a strange sight vridhakshatra was in his ashrama sitting in the open absorbed um, in his evening meditation with eyes closed when his son's head with beautiful black hair and uh, golden earrings gently dropped into his lap the old king finished his meditation and got up when the head rolled down and fell on the ground and as ordained vridhakshatra's head burst into a hundred fragments jaitrada and his father together reached the abode of the brave keshava dhananjaya bhima satiki yudhamanyu and uttamaojas blew their conches and dharmaraja who heard the triumphant noise knew that it meant that arjuna had redeemed his oath and that the saindava had been slain then yudhishthira led his army fiercely against drona it was nightfall but on the 14th day of the battle the rule of cease fire at sunset was not observed as the passions rose from day to day one by one the rules and restraints broke down